Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for joining us. Today, we're making a video about a quick disconnect for these Pelican cases on the roof rack of your truck. Let's get into it. So for my solution to a quick disconnect for these Pelican cases, I got these brackets from EO2 fasteners. One will go on the roof rack of your truck and the other one bolts onto the bottom of the Pelican case and they, they just clip together and then you can just take it off whenever and it locks. So then you can take off your Pelican case and don't have to carry it around everywhere. So then you have a lower risk of your stuff getting stolen. So to make these work with the roof rack, I did have to do a little bit of modifying. I had to drill a couple holes so that you could tighten the bolts through the hole. And then I'm going to cut part of this rail off so then it sits a little flush. It sits a little more flush on the roof rack and gets a little lower profile for this Pelican case. The first thing that I'm gonna do is open this Pelican case and take out all the foam so that I can attach this guy to the bottom of it. And I'll drill some holes and silicone them, make sure that they don't leak so this thing is still waterproof after I drill the holes in it. So to make this mount sit flush with the Pelican case, I'm gonna have to sand down this little bead right here, and right here, because it just barely interferes with that. And then I can pull this guy in, and then we'll get started on installing it on the truck. So to grind this little piece of plastic down, this little bead of plastic, I'm gonna use a Dremel, make it flush, so then this EO2 fastener can sit flush with the Pelican case. Let's get into it. So I marked how far I needed to cut to, and let's do it. So I pretty much just melted it. You just peel it off. Get a razor blade and clean it up. So there's one side done. Time to get on to this other side. Now I just gotta use the razor blade on this side, scrape off all this melted plastic. There we go, so now it's flush. Now I just gotta drill the holes and put the bolts through, and then silicone it up. So let's drill these holes, and then get some hardware in there. All right, got some hardware that fits. Let's put some washers on there and get them in. Then we just gotta flip it over and put the nuts on. I'll put a little silicone on these before I tighten them on. Just making sure that it fits. So let's put a little silicone on there to waterproof these holes. In the case is still waterproof. I put a lot just to be safe. And then we can put those washers and the nuts back on. Okay, this one's in. Put that washer on. Nut. Should be 
one through. Wow, it took a lot longer than I expected to get these bolts installed. And now, now this half is done and it's got the lock on it and there's silicone, so no water's gonna get in there. But now it's time to move on to the half that connects to it that goes on the roof rack. As you can see, to make this work, I had to do a little bit of MacGyvering, get these bolts in here. Let's go test fit it on the roof and see if it fits. All right, so I've got the EO2 fasteners mount, and then I got this hardware from Up Top Overland that just slips in here. All right, that's all the hardware. Now let's see if this will work. I might have to get back to you guys when I get this installed and the rain has stopped. Alright, so I've moved into the garage to get this back to finish get this on here. Just gotta move it that way a little bit so the pelican case isn't hanging off the edge. Now you just gotta stick this through these holes. Tighten it down again. It's kind of tricky sometimes to get the bolt lined up. Just gotta tighten them down a little bit until each of them are a little snug. There we go, got that on there. Now let's test the fit of the Pelican case. All right guys, so this thing is pretty dang sick. Look at this. So you've got this metal piece here and a metal piece on the bottom of your Pelican case. You just slide them together, put it there, and then just push down and it locks in place. And then you, to lock it, you just go in here. And you can just lock this guy. And you can just go in here and here's the lock. And so no one's gonna steal your Pelican case anymore. And it, although it took some MacGyvering to get it on there, make it look good. Now it looks pretty sweet. Check that out. And it thought it was gonna sit too high, but now it sits perfect. Looks pretty dang good up there. If you wanna get this for one of your Pelican cases, I'll put the link in the description below if I can still find them online. So it stopped raining, it stopped raining. So now I thought I'd get you guys outside and take a look at it. Pretty slim. Sweet. Doesn't even stick up that much. And it's way better than just bolting it on there and not being able to take it off very easily without undoing all the bolts. And it's not waterproof anymore. I silicone this and I silicone the mount to it. So it should stay waterproof. You can take it off whenever you want. Thanks for tuning into the video today. If you enjoyed what you saw, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And Go get one of these for your truck, and then you can easily remove and put back on your Pelican cases. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.